So I come into work at about 6.15, 6.20, start looking over patients' charts so I can get a jump on the day. Um, we have huddle as a team here on the floor where we discuss the plan for the day, how many patients there is on the floor, anything upcoming, um, and then I start the day. I go see my most critically ill patient first and then go on down the line or so or make any adjustments as they need um, and I just go through the day. Hey Ms. Johnson, how you doing? Army Nurse Corps is a very uh, broad entity that houses nurses from various specialties. I'm a medical surgical nurse, which means I take care of sick patients as well as patients preparing and coming out of surgery. Now in the Army Nurse Corps, you've got specialties from critical care nursing, taking care of acutely ill patients, to emergency nursing down in the emergency departments, uh, perioperative nursing, taking care of patients in and out of surgery, public health nursing, psychiatric nursing, and advanced practice nursing as well, from CRNAs to nurse practitioners. In this hospital, especially in the inpatient setting here, we most of our patients are what would be considered geriatric or elderly, older patients, retirees. Um, so we see a lot of uh, surgical patients in that demographic as well as sick patients. But nurses assigned to combat support hospitals forward resuscitative surgical teams, they're gonna deal with more active duty personnel. What we got? He was getting a transfusion and his pulse just stopped. Leslie, if you can get on airway and bag him. Josh, get a set of vitals. To be an Army nurse means to be uh, flexible, uh, multifaceted. You're not going to experience the same thing every day, so you have to be a quick, critical thinker, think well on your feet, be able to adapt to any situation that might come your way. Stand clear. Clear, right, clear. You might be on a medical surgical floor one day, you might be taking care of a sick patient, you might be taking care of an ill patient, you might be deployed never know what to expect, so you have to be adaptable and versatile. The entire time on shift, at least one patient needs something. It's never a dull moment. It's never time to just sit down and relax. You might take care of one patient and get everything squared away, but then another patient has some other interventions that need to be done, or some medications that need to be given, or they need to be helped to the bathroom, or they need an EKG, or they need a blood draw. After a day on the floor, 12 hour shift, I typically feel, I feel tired, sometimes stressed. I feel tested, but it's a good stress. I do feel satisfied in knowing that I did do my best during the day and that I provided a positive outcome to a patient, a family member, a staff member, a coworker. Just, I feel like I did something by bringing some positivity to someone. Hey, Ms. McGregor, how you doing? Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, head over to our channel and click the subscribe button. From there, check out our other videos and see what else is going on in the U.S. Army. See you next time.